now the inmates are starting to fight. What the system is doing now is trying to detect visual features that are indicative of a fight. Okay. So this includes things like uh, a motion that is of high intensity, multi-directional, with a high number of interest points. So when it actually crosses a, a threshold set, you actually send an alert oh, to the operator. Oh, is that, is that alarm? That's, that's right, that's the alarm. I see. So the aggression was detected and the alert was sounded. So how do you teach yeah. a computer what is the aggression? We need to provide video data with uh, fight scenes. Uh, it is trained to recognise what these features are so, and the values so. at which these features uh, will constitute the aggression. So you actually feed videos of simulated fights or Correct. real fights to the AI? Yes. And the AI will learn from those videos? That's right. Typically for a behaviour like this, we use about a thousand video clips. Oh, a thousand video clips. So one of the challenges we face is that of misclassification of events. Mm -hmm. So for example, if the inmate is doing jumping jacks, uh -huh. yeah, that, that will constitute a false alert. Mm -hmm. So we have to continually train the system Mm -hmm. uh, to become more and more intelligent so that it can filter out uh, all these alerts that are not actually alerts of aggression. So it's very people dependent yes, and right. the people had to be around yes. the area. And if no one reported the fight, the fight would have just gone on. It will only be detected after the fight when we actually conduct a uh, checks on all our inmates mm -hmm. and detect some of the injury or bruises that may have occurred on their body. So this system is meant to detect fights as soon as possible? Yes. Let's say after a visit, the inmates come back slightly depressed mm -hmm. or looks unhappy. That's where we can pick up signs of the symptoms that the inmates is behaving abnormally okay. and our officers can actually intervene.